my channel thank you so much for watching apologies it has been a couple of weeks since i have managed to get a video uploaded um <laughs> to be quite honest with you life has just been a bit hectic and around work I just haven't found time to get some videos filmed but determined to get this one filmed for you today um so today's plan is um i've already been up had some breakfast um, it's actually a really nice day. So my plan for today is I'm heading to a local garden centre um, and meeting my sister and brother-in-law for a coffee. We're going to go and have a look at some of the Christmas decorations that are hopefully out now. I'm pretty sure they are out now. And then following that, I'm going to come back and I thought I'd share with you some new bits that I've ordered for um, my wardrobe and um, some new accessories and stuff that I've got. I've ordered some bits from New Look m &S actually and I've also got some vintage bits which I'm just obsessed with at the moment. I'm going to try and film some reels and being quite optimistic with my timings here because later we are actually going to a wedding which is a twilight wedding so it starts at five o'clock which is actually really really nice so you have most of the day to get bits done and so I thought I'd do a little bit of a get ready with me for the wedding, show you kind of what I'm wearing and I've also ordered some new beauty bits so I thought I'd share those with you and yeah see what they're like so I'll show you those as well and do a little bit of an unboxing so yeah let's head out to the garden centre I'll share with you some of the Christmassy bits if there are some and then when I come back I will show you some new bits in my wardrobe. Oh, the lilac snow Drifting down so soft and slow Outside my window I watch it go Oh, the lilac snow and Though the world may seem so still it's coming in a distant chill With the memories of winter's past Of the ones I wish would have lasted Okay, so I'm just back from the garden centre. I had to be very controlled and restrained not to buy any Christmas decorations. I need to go through what I've got already but the baubles that were in there I nearly picked up a couple because they're so beautiful but I'm trying to work out my colour scheme this year I normally go quite traditional with the reds and the golds might add some green and brown and gold in this year but yeah I'm trying not to spend loads of money on Christmas decorations this year so I have just made a nice cup of tea and I thought I'd show you the new bits that I have ordered. I'm going to start with the bits from M&S because M&S is my new favourite place, decided. So I picked up this gorgeous chocolate brown, a bit obsessed with the chocolate brown at the moment, cardigan with the two gold buttons down the front. It's a really rich chocolatey brown and a really nice material, if you can just see that there. It's quite a thick material. Um, I went for an extra small in this and I'd say definitely stick true to your size. I feel like this comes up slightly larger. So I'll try this on, but I love the colour of it. This was um, 39.50 for this one here. Um, I'm going to try that on in a moment. And I also ordered to go with that from m and some more jeans. So these are from the Petite Range. Haven't tried any of the Petite Range jeans at m and before. Um, but I got this indigo wash pair here. Um, I actually got them in a size 8 because they didn't have a 6 in stock. So I'm not sure. It depends how large they come up in size. You never know with jeans. Um, but actually in terms of length, they look a pretty good length. They're high-waisted and they are wide leg. So I will try those on together. These were, how much were these? I don't actually know how much these were. £35 for these ones here. So I will try those on and see what they look like. And the last item that I picked up from m and was actually a pair of earrings, which I'm hoping to wear to the wedding that we are heading to tonight. Because I thought they would go really nicely with my dress. So they're quite a statement pair of earrings. They're these gorgeous pair here. 
um i'm hoping they will go with my dress that i have planned so these were 16.50 from ms i thought they were really really pretty and i love a statement gold earring i'll try those bit on and share those with you and i've also got a couple of other pieces from h&m and new look but i don't know whether it's probably going to be best for me to film a different video which is just purely that because this is going to turn into a little bit of a um clothing haul video otherwise but i thought i'd just show you the two bits that i got on vinted as well first item that i got off vinted was this gorgeous chocolate blazer i'm sorry everything's chocolate at the moment but i'm just obsessed with this color at the moment it's got these gorgeous gold buttons i love blazers it is quite a thin material so i'd say it's sort of really easy to dress up but it's not super super warm it's not like a coat blazer it was i think 15 pounds on vintage it's got the little gold button details on the sleeve as well i just think blazers are really easy to just you can kind of dress them up but you can also wear them casually with like some jeans and trainers if you wanted to or you could dress it up with some nice heels and really elevate your look um but yeah i couldn't find a chocolate blazer that i wanted and then went on vintage and found this one here so i'll try that on and show you what that looks like and then another blazer this one, I'm on the M&S train. This one is beautiful. So this is from M&S. It's kind of like this tweed style blazer. It's single breasted, just got the one button there. And I love the collar detail. It's got this navy style collar. So it looks quite dressy, I guess. No buttons on the sleeves. And coming closer so you can see the colors. So you can see the hound's tooth sort of detailing just there but I really like it. I thought it would just look nice with a pair of leggings and boots, to be honest. Something that you can easily, really easily dress up or dress down. And yeah, really liked that. So that was, I think that was 25 pounds from Vintage. Okay, so this is the chocolate brown cardigan and it's got the two gold button detailing. Kind of cinches you in slightly at the waist. I'd definitely say, say stay true to your size with this because this is the extra small and I'd say this is on the larger side for me but it is super comfortable and the material is really really soft and then i've got the jeans i'm just going to pan down a little bit to show you the jeans on these are very very comfortable i would say again size down there's i got a size eight but i probably could have done it with a six but it's comfortable around the waist petite wise they are a really nice length So very very comfortable those back pockets the material is so soft as well so i'd say they are really really comfortable so yeah i like this outfit love the chocolate tones i'd probably wear i really like the i really like chocolate with black um the two tones together i quite like and then with like gold accessories so so I'm planning to film some reels this afternoon so i'm going to do some styling up of these pieces on actually how i would wear them so this is the brown blazer it's actually really comfortable it's very thin material like i said it's not super thick but since it definitely cinches you in at the waist i'll see if i can find similar and link it um if i can this has just got the single button so if you wanted to do up you could but let me put some leggings on so i on this pair of boots from h&m is with the boots but very comfortable and yeah just easy to throw on and i'll show you the tweed one as well now and this is the tweed blazer that i ordered um so i'm gonna do hopefully some reels with these now i just i hadn't actually tried these on so i wanted to see what they look like on and i was just really keen so this is with the button done up i like that this one's quite long so it covers it's got the little up at the back but it's, it's single breasted um it has got little pockets at the front which i love um and it's quite fitted around the waist quite long i've just popped it with these boots which are from h&m super comfy um because it's still quite mild at this time of the year i feel like this is something you could easily just throw on i could definitely fit a cardigan underneath here as well so yeah i just love the collar detail i think it's so pretty um, and I've paired it with these earrings from, these are from New Look. They were only, I think, 2 99 Amazing bargain from New Look for those there. 
So I'm going to now try and put together some outfits for a couple of reels that I'm going to try and film or YouTube shorts and try and style some of these pieces. Um, and then I will share with you the new and beauty bits that I have got and do a little bit of a get ready with me for the wedding that we are heading to. So I have just sat down, I'm going to start getting ready for the wedding that we are going to tonight, but I thought I would just share with you some new and beauty bits that I have ordered before I start doing my makeup properly. The first thing I ordered was the Huda Beauty foundation. This is her faux filter luminous matte foundation. I used this when it first came out years and years ago and um, I got on quite well with it. I know not a lot of people did but I know that the formula has changed and I don't know I haven't ordered any new beauty bits in absolute ages and I just felt like having a little bit of a makeup change so I ordered this for when I wanted a little bit more full coverage so we'll see what that looks like and then I also reordered the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer because I used to use this and I loved it and I need all the help I can get when it comes to concealer so I grabbed that from I think I ordered that from Sephora website and then I also ordered this Givenchy Prism Libra four color loose powder which I've heard lots about never usually wear powder and um, it just doesn't sit very well on my skin whenever I apply it but I've read lots of rave reviews about this. So I'm very excited to give this a try, especially for setting like under eye concealer. So it comes with like the four different shades. I went for the um, number three shade. I can't even pronounce what that says in French and I don't want to butcher it. So um, I went for the number three shade. I think there's like five shades to try so um very excited to give that a go uh, also for brows my brows are horrendous i'm really really sorry i don't really do anything with my brows and they're a little bit wild but i thought i'd get something to keep them in place a little bit so i really liked the nyx i had a nyx eyebrow pencil like wand thing so i thought i'd try something similar this is the thickening brow mascara mm, i think it's got the shade taupe and it just comes with a little wand for your eyebrows so I've got that to try and I have actually used it already and it is pretty good um I got I ordered it off Amazon and then I just thought I would share with you one of the blushes that I picked up from Hourglass because I'm obsessed with Hourglass blushes and like their powders and things and this is in the shade it's one of the ambient lighting blushes in the shade sublime flush and I love it it's really really pink but it's so pretty. Look at the colour. And it's got a very, very, it's not sparkly. It's just a little bit iridescent. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of got some golden tones in there as well. Um, So I'm going to pop that on as well for the wedding. And yeah, I'm just going to get ready now. I'm probably not going to film my makeup because I'm really bad at makeup. And um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll pop the products on and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like and... Um, and the dress and everything together. Okay, as usual, I'm running late, but um, I just thought I'd show you my makeup. So I've got the Huda Beauty foundation on, and then I've used the NYX stuff on my eyebrows, and then the powder, I'm super impressed with. Definitely, I popped it under my eyes, and I never usually wear it, but it's definitely brightened a little bit under my eyes and kind of set everything in place. So I'm gonna go get my dress on and um, I'll show you my outfit once I am ready. So this is the dress that I am wearing from the House of CB. It's in this beautiful green colour with like this almost floral print um, and it flows beautifully. It's just super comfortable and it's corseted at the back and it flows really beautifully when you're wearing it. And then I'm just going to, I've just popped, this is my nan's, um, bracelet and one that Christian bought me as well. Conscious I'm already starting to lose the light because it's getting towards that time and I'm just going to tuck these gold heels from next with it and put those on. I'm always late literally no matter how much time I have anybody else with me <laughs> it 
takes them forever. Even else with me, it takes me ages to get ready. Even though I plan oh, loads of time. Shoes are on. I'm going to give my hair a brush. I'm going to add these earrings from m &S. And I'm going to just pin a little bit of my hair back, but mostly I'll leave it down. Okay, so earrings are in. Just give my hair a quick brush. I curled my hair earlier with I curled my hair earlier with the um just Dyson Air Wrap and just left it in to sit for a little while. But um that I'll have to do for now. Here's the outfit. I've just popped it with gold shoes from next as well and yeah I just bring it down a little bit so you can see the dress in a little bit more detail and then because it is November I have got a jacket to wear with it as well I'm just gonna pair this um white one with it yeah and then I've just chucked it with this Topshop cream jacket this is an old jacket from Topshop Boutique if you remember the Topshop Boutique days this is from there um it's got three quart length sleeves and it's iridescent and it just really cinches you in at the waist you can button it up if you want to just chucked it with the YSL Lulu bag and then I've actually decided to put my hair down I prefer it down than just loose it's just easier um and then the gold earrings from M&S um bracelets are actually my nouns and then one Christian bought me and yeah this is the outfit all together I'm gonna run because as usual I am late <laughs> quick spritz of Penhaligon's Cairo for perfume and I'm pretty much ready to go so thank you so much for watching if you are still here I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Sorry it was a little bit um, all over the place. Um, as usual, I am rushing around. But yeah, I hope to catch up with you in next Sunday's video. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more organised and less rushed than this video, but I just wanted to get something up for you. I hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend and I'll catch up with you next week. Take care. Bye.